yesterday, Skip. I be on these miles of hen dog, and now y'all got problems with me. Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. It's your boy Jumpman Jones. You're now live beside episode 195 of the Kicking Shit Podcast. Ooh, Damn, this coming shit. up on that 200 right. quick. All right, man, we gotta get some balloons. Get that shit out. Get the two zero zero balloons. We used to do it. All right, maybe one balloon a week. <laughs> Um, real quick, man, before we get started, because I do want to address some things that were talked about at the top of the show. I got a real funny story. Uh, thank you for joining us on this Monday morning. I'm your boy, Jumpman Jones. I'm joined here with a few good gentlemen, a few fine fellas, some of the greatest guys you'll ever meet. If you run up on these guys in the streets, you need to speak to them. I always start to my right. Don't speak to it me. It is the funny. <laughs> right. It is the talented. Yes. The one, the only, young Picasso, your motherfucking super. It's Jelly, a.k.a. Gels. Put me on the bread till I'm fed. It is James the Jellyfish. How you doing, my brother? Good, man. How you doing, man? You know, out here living. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. And to my left, man. I wish I had a drum roll for this. It's my boy. It's my partner. It is my dog. It's Mr. Jukebox Johnny, a.k.a. Crown Daddy. A.K.A. Crown Poppy, all the hell in Himidor Poppy, the Avion Don, whichever one y'all on that night. Catch them back at the Punt Corner Pub in a couple more months. It's about to be warm out. What's going on, man? You already know what it is. You ain't going to catch me at the pub probably until after July, your boy. Uh, signed up for a fitness competition. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. So it's going down. I heard about that. Sorry I couldn't join you. Nah, you fine, man. <laughs> what you going what you mean? What you gonna be doing? A lot of stupid shit. <laughs> yes. And I'm like coming what? to watch. I'm coming to watch. Uh, shit. To watch. One of the events is like uh we got a row shit. I don't know. I gotta look it up. But it's a whole bunch of like I got uh, weightlifting and other stuff. I'm yep. coming out there just to say mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, don't come over there to the community yeah, yeah, and <laughs> Nah, I think we could win, man. If we starting now, we got strength, we got speed. I think we could win this thing. Mm. Damn, that's as sad. long as we go hard. And it's not that hard. Like the weights are pretty. Like I think the highest weight we are gonna have to lift is like a deadlift of one eighty five, and I deadlift like four hundred five. My max. Damn, damn, that's easy. Yeah, so. that's easy. Shit, not for me. I real quick, I'm man. wiggling on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank every, I want to thank everybody out there for tuning in today, man. Thank you for tuning in, man. If it's your first time listening to this show, man, we want you to listen week in and week out. So go ahead and set a reminder, subscribe, or follow on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, uh, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud. You can watch us if you're watching us right now on YouTube. How you doing? You can watch us on YouTube. Go ahead, subscribe there. Shout out to the new subscribers. We got some new subscribers this week. Shout out to y'all. Also, um, check us out www.kickingshitpod.com. You can access us there. And for anybody who's in our DMs on Instagram asking to be on the show, if you want to be on this show, a, you, you would be hearing this right now. And B, you should send over your bio and your information, your media kit, everything on the website to us, and we'll get back to you just to address everybody that's DMing about being on the show. God damn. I don't promise a couple of niggas. Come on on this <laughs> Now Get your ass on here. <laughs> funny story about R&B and your niggas. I love R&B music. With your niggas? Hold on, let me tell my story. Can oh, I tell my okay. story? Let me build. All right. I love R&B music. Okay. I have a good friend who stepped street from me that loves R&B music too. Who school? No, the nigga next to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I always used to feel it was unmanly to listen to R&B around your niggas. It was it was just weird. I thought it was weird. And so uh hey, when you mad at me. So no, listen, I'm done. I don't know. Let me tell my story. So Johnny gets his first car and he's driving and now he's like the neighborhood bus. Straight and Johnny didn't get, Johnny's the most comfortable person you would meet with himself. Johnny didn't care. If the music was good, it was getting played in the car. So he got me comfortable with being able to say, man, I'm about to throw this Anthony Hamlet it on and we riding. If you <laughs> it's on you to feel uncomfortable. Y'all niggas weird. Man. We was not doing shit like hey, that. Bro. I appreciate it. Especially you when that, that confession came out. You got in my shit. Used to jam it. Johnny. Oh, 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 Johnny oh, looked like. Blood, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny looked like he'll get crunk to gun dump style, nigga. You look like. <laughs> nah, I did. Well, you used to play some Lil John in that bitch, too, um, with some scrap. The first Omarion we listened to. Oh, again. yeah. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Oh, this, yeah. baby, by the way. We never took Usher out. That's a fact. Yeah, we Usher always had Usher, Usher spent till the bitch. paint came off that thing. I mean, it says a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It says a lot. What it does it say lot. about us, Jack? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> more Johnny than you, but you know, it's all <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, man, that's... Uh, yeah, it got me comfortable doing that. So now I really don't give a fuck. I listen to R&B music. If you get on my car, R&B music, oh, I, sorry that you're uncomfortable. That's a you problem. I'm changing <laughs> that shit. That's not a you problem. <laughs> but I always tell people when they get on my car, now at this age, I'm like, if you want to plug up to the speaker, you can. You'd be surprised how many niggas be like, yo, you heard this new Alex Isley? I'm like, nah, dog, turn that up. Mm. Which I know you don't know what that is. I mean, I don't ride with niggas. I can't remember the last time a, a man was in my car. I can't so. remember the, the last time. So. It's, it's usually on some shit like, man, just ride me to the bar since we downtown. Just we right. going right there. But nah, riding the days of riding out are long gone. Yeah, unless yeah. we out of town and we in a rental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I I probably now, say the last time I was in the carpools with, with y'all niggas. <laughs> Same. Now yeah, I think so. Now, I would have loved to see James Place if you would have switched over to like Jamie Fox. Oh yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna front. I fuck with Jamie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. With that nigga came that. out with that. Uh, what's that? Um, who's the band draws? Some mythic repetition. A devil set this oh, party. Oh, oh yeah. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be? Day. Well, well. Every day. That <laughs> album. That shit was hard. Are you look. I mean, you like R and B though. I do. Just not with your niggas. Just not with my niggas. <laughs> 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 all right, man. Um, we did all of that. All right, man. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this week's show, man. Um, go ahead, man. We're gonna kick it off. Hold up, wait, y'all. What? All right, man. I brought up the Valentine's Day thing just to give the uh, users or the listeners some clarification oh, here. Oh, okay. There's a few origins, so I mean, no one really knows. So in the UK and the US, it's the story I was telling you about about them uh, commercializing it, trying to make money in the department stores. Uh, but then there's also what we was talking about, the massacre. Mm. Um, oh, Rose just said, "Niggas like I love you." Sucking that nigga dick like that. Like, gave you all that nigga money. stabbed with so much passion. <laughs> they named it Valentine's Day, nigga. But yeah, so basically, <laughs> there was a, um, a Roman emperor know. named Claudius, and he executed everybody that had the name Valent last name Valentine on February fourteenth. Why? Why you do that? I don't know. Maybe that was the family he was beefing with. And then there's also a story here that it's a, a Roman pagan festival from February 13th to the 15th that involves animal sacrifice, ritualized sex play, and general debauchery. Damn. So that's the original one then. That had to be the original one. Probably, debauchery. Yeah. The pagan one has to be the Put original. Put the nigga on. I, I kind of know what it is, is uh, but I don't know how to explain it. No, damn. D, debauchery. <laughs> mm. Debauchery. I like the word. D, what's up, Watch Black History Watch it be something evil right. as fuck. <laughs> Ain't it like uh, like uh, everything just kind of wild or something like that? <laughs> or like... <laughs> it's debauchery. Like bro. a whole bunch of evil going on. It's sex with indulgence, though. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, um, damn, so that shit really... Damn. We really celebrating this shit the wrong Far way. way, man. Damn. We supposed to be sacrificing animals Tell and having girl, sex with everybody. Shut your ass up. <laughs> 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 have orgies. Tell your girl, get you like, a threesome. Man, like, please. Let's let's go go, hey, before you come home tonight, baby, get you. the lingerie, and then go to the pet store and get a few rabbits for us to kill. And, and get a friend. That, that was a lot. And get a couple of friends. Yo, this is probably like yeah, bad Valentine yeah. or Valentine's Day orgy parties, like for people for couples. Oh, probably like swingers. You know they got yeah. that swinger place over there near Carowinds. I heard yeah, South Carolina. You yeah. gotta be a member though. Yeah, it's one in Uptown. Nah, I'm good on that. Yeah. Man, it's gonna be some old ass ladies uh, and that shit. Nah, and now the New York ones <laughs> probably got some bad some baddies in there. <laughs> but you gotta have a you have a you gotta have a partner to go to a swing club anyway. Yeah, I knew a girl you that used to work with a uh, a chick that her and her husband used to go to the. That's how I found out about that one. Yeah, and they said that shit was like oh you it was like you was right. It's just a whole bunch of old people in there. Somebody told me there's a house in Charlotte, and you just go in there and get busy. That could be yeah. like you just go. You gotta in be there. a different type of freak. Yeah, you just get. I don't busy. know if that's freaky. I think you just gotta be very explorative <laughs> to be having like random sex with random people in a random house. They say you could just walk in there with your dick out and you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> and there's probably some old folks in there. What if you walk up in there and you see somebody you know though? I guess they see you, you in there too. <laughs> yeah, it was like, a freak like that. Uh, yeah, I didn't know you was out here doing this shit. I wish man. I would have known. I watched this show called. Yeah, sisters and on sisters. No, is that sisters? What's the one where they caught the guy? Uh, they caught the politician and they blackmailed him. He was in a sex club. Was that sisters? 
It's one of the shows on BET I watched. BET Plus featuring Tyler Perry. That might have been Hustler. <laughs> but it was what's uh that, but they, movie with, she uh, was a journalist. J-Lo. Ah, I know the games we play, the games people play on that show. Mm. They went to like a sex club and a politician was in there getting busy with a dude, so they they blackmailed him. Oh damn. See? And he That's the see, risk. Gotta, that's the you, risk you run. I was about to say, if you're gonna go in a house like that, you got to be like comfortable. With yourself, because you might see a dude and a dude getting it on. Yeah, exactly. You definitely gotta be super you, comfortable. You like you just gotta be that. a nasty dude. They're gonna invite you. Or a They're nasty like, person. Like sex is sex to you. Come on over here. We need no a third. matter the orientation. Like it's just, <laughs> I just want to have sex. I don't care if it's a guy, so girl. R and B music makes you weird, but this conversation is just not weird at all. No, <laughs> I mean just, the conversation is definitely weird. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what I'm saying you can find comedy in it. So that's no, what I we're find talking it about. Always, <laughs> always, always, man. Oh, what you gonna do? If you walk in there, Johnny? You gonna be like, get over here. We need a third. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, dudes, I'm straight, man. I'm like, man, it's my first time. I'm just here with my girl. We about oh, it's to, your first time. Yeah, we just gonna have sex and we'll hopefully somebody watch us he and enjoy keep it. Egging you. Get over yeah. here. Don't worry about See, it. See, my my thing is like, if I'm having sex with some women, like guys could stand around and beat their meat. I don't. Hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like part that of the game. Happen, you better not look around at all. But you they say that's how this? you get. <laughs> Next thing you know, you got nut on your shoulder. <laughs> nah, they better not do nothing like that now. Nah. Yeah, you your head down and smash, I heard they nigga. courteous, though. For your first time, I heard they real courteous. I heard they like, hey, you can tell them you don't want to be touched and stuff like that. Or you can just go to a private room your first time. and leave your door open. It's gonna just be to some... get your feet wet. And then you can explore. I've heard stories, too. It don't sound bad. It just sounds different. It's yeah, I mean, I don't think it's something I would be into. His nipples, nigga. Yeah, I'm now like, that <laughs> are tied up on all fours going up the stairs. He's like, oh, shit. All right, man. Pop You're like, don't touch me, okay? Right. But what if your girl was into that, though? You got to go do it. Hell no. If my girl into that, we, I'm leaving you in that house. I'm out of there. <laughs> you don't never do nothing I want to do. You in the big nigga. That's what you going to get Big niggas with. rubbing their nipples. <laughs> shit. <laughs> don't Hell no. Don't sex shame your lady, bro. I'm sex shaming you. You doing shit like that. <laughs> I got to leave your ass. This shit here is crazy. <laughs> Why uh, ideology you just ain't matching up. Because <laughs> that nigga's serious, man. I know. <laughs> I thought we were here, bitch. We are here. Did you see her walking no out idea. and two dudes just start gang banging her? Like, as he walks Hell away. No, I'll be like, fuck it then. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm like, out of here. Come on, they're gonna gangbang me. Don't you, you wanna watch? You de- they deserve you. I'm gonna put cum in a sippy cup. Ew. No, all right. <laughs> that's definitely too. That's, I've watched some porn. No, I said that's gold that's, level that's swinging wild. right there. Who is out here trying to put cum in a that's sippy cup? That's gold level I've swinging. Seen it on the porn, but anyway. Right. All right, man. So let's <gasps> start with Joe Biden. Um, his job report came back for the first year. Um, Joe Biden. His administration, I know this number's kind of skewed, but he created 6.6 million jobs in his first 12 months, um, which is a record for any president. The president um, that's below him is Jimmy Carter, and he created 3.9 million jobs. So shout out to Joe Biden, even though a lot of people were employed due to the, unemployed due to the pandemic. That's why the numbers are kind of skewed on that one. But, uh, I mean, anything that makes the numbers look good, shit, fuck it. This America, baby. Fuck Joe. <laughs> right. Not me. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Joe Biden no more. And that nigga said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yeah, like. Still ain't did Even shit. when he got in office, I was never, like, keen on him. I thought, and I thought Kamala Harris would do, be, like, in, out more. Bruh, for real? Where the fuck is she at? Chilling. I'm saying, though, this bitch don't be in meetings. <laughs> she over, she swears she be doing stuff. She say, and she could be doing stuff to. on the low, man. Shout out to, you know, shit. That's what women do sometimes. They be doing stuff on the low. We don't really know what be going on. Oh, they be managing business. She need I don't more know. credit. She needs more credit. Hey, man, she doing it for the love of it. She ain't she, doing it for the face of it, man. She's technically one of us, okay? Yeah, technically, even she, though she not. She using that hot six oil. Cause she like, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. The man just be looking good. You one of us. Don't even, don't even try it. <laughs> she definitely is one of us. What she Jamaican, I think, and uh, Indian. So yeah, that's man. close enough. All right, man. So uh, Trump had Twitter going crazy last Sunday. Um, he was at a rally. Um, you know, giving his typical Trump speeches, but people started to notice that the black people in the background look kind of funny. 
What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the reports came out that the, there was a whole bunch of black people behind wearing the Blacks for Trump shirts. But a lot of people were saying that they looked like they was white people with painted faces, like what? black face. Um, it wasn't confirmed. A Can lot you of people, pull it up? Yeah, I mean, I kind of got... Let me see if I got it on my phone. So it wasn't black people. They're saying it wasn't black people. The media is saying it wasn't black people. But he's like... <laughs> Trump's team is saying it was black people. But still, the thing is... Oh, okay. Something popped up on my phone uh, about Adele. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? I like, lost fake? my train of thought. The black, the, the black face niggas. Oh, okay. So, Bro, um, how you going to fake some shit like that on Black History Month, nigga? You deserve to be slapped repeatedly. <laughs> but even that, it's like, why do they have to wear the blacks for Trump shirt? Like, ain't no white people out there wearing whites for Trump. Shit, yes, they are. <laughs> what, the hat, the hat is the yes, whites for Trump? Yeah, it's called goddamn make America great again. That is whites for Trump. All right, I can see that. I'm trying to pull up this picture for you. Uh, meanwhile, um, that's 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 very fucked up if they're in the crowd. Wearing black black face. Face. Bro, I got to see it. But I got to see it. Are the lips red? Because I like, can tell a nigga like from a matter of what. time, black? Bro, yeah, I mean, me we should be shit. able to. Yeah. Yeah. Been a nigga all my life. I can tell a nigga from about thirty yards. Yeah, my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> there was never a point in my life where I right, was. I'm gonna bring that up. <laughs> we recognize each other. Photo shit. for you. What's up, dog? But, uh, we can have on all everything, hoodie, everything, mask. That's a nigga. You know it. <laughs> you can nah. tell by the way he walks. It's just too cool. <laughs> so also Trump. I'm ready this to week, march. y'all know y'all heard about the controversies uh, surrounding Joe Rogan, everybody's favorite podcaster. Oh yeah, uh, Trump defended Joe Rogan in uh, a speech to uh, the Washington Post, basically saying that Joe Rogan is an interesting and popular guy, but he's got to stop apologizing for the fake news and radical left maniacs and lunatics. He said, yeah, "Joe, nigga just go about what you do so well. Don't let them make you look weak and frightened." Do y'all think he apologized on his own? Rogan, I mean, no. I, I think, I think he did. My thing is, once you get in a big public eye like that, you can't look a certain way, because I guess they got fear of people like dropping you or whatever. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. Your people are your biggest like money getter or your biggest support. So once they stop supporting you, you're done. But we talking you're about donezo. A, this, this is different. We talking about a white man. You think that. You think that they prompted him to make the apology, or he he? I'm made saying the apology? yes. You they definitely they did. The they definitely did. I, I mean, I feel like the apology was um, scripted, but I think he wanted to apologize for sure. I don't think he was forced to. I know he wanted to say something, but like I say, the nigga montage was a stretch because it seemed like he was saying, like in it, the word, or he was explaining something. Yeah, you know that's what I'm the thing. Like they were, they see it. First of all, I think a lot of people are coming for him. Right. Because the way he was saying, it it was out of context. All those N-words was out of context. Right. Because he basically either, and let me start by saying white people shouldn't say the word regardless if you're trying to say a rap song or you're trying to say a, tell a story. You shouldn't be saying it. I mean, really, nobody should be saying it, but at least we black, we got the right to say it. Right, I don't right. agree with that part, but go ahead. But you, you think people should say nigga? I think black people who took the word and turned it in, like he said, into a term of endearment and made it an exclusive word for a race. So actually, that's the one thing that we've been able to do that's dope. Yeah, we should use the word nigga. It is our word. It's a word that we use, that we, you know, yeah. we use it for everything, a person, place, a thing. It is a common word. It's like a cultural word for us. And for for them, for us not to use it, that's them silencing us. No. We, yeah, we, it's our it's our power move. It's the one thing we can say. No, you cannot be a part of this, and they hate that shit. They hate it. Yeah. Now, they do you think any other race has a word that they can call each other? I don't know, but nigga, I ain't know where you was going with that. <laughs> 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 but you brought it back around full circle. I appreciate that, oh, my yeah, nigga. They hate that shit. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how white folks talk to each other. I don't know how Indians talk to each other. I don't know how racial groups talk to each other. Nor am I concerned right. with that. But they know how we talk to each other. Yeah. Oh, of course. Bro, everybody says nigga. Let's keep it real. But let's find this out where you're going. Let's, let's out find out where you're going with this. I forgot where I was going. Oh, <laughs> what were we talking about? Joe Rogan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was saying, like, I mean, I think that he apologized. I think he wanted to. And I think 
they scripted that apology, but what that that montage that came out didn't make no sense. He wasn't yeah. calling people niggers. Now when he had hair, like a real racist person. That one when he had hair. Yeah. Oh, oh he was saying nigga for real in that. You talking about the one where you talk about the uh, was, going to the zoo or some yeah, shit? Now that, yeah. That was racist as fuck. Yeah. yeah. But everyone after that one was kind of like, come on, bro, y'all reach. Right. I, and they were old. I, yeah, they I, were. I, I take the I take the I take the other side of the fence. There is no scenario in which any white person should say nigga. Yeah, I, I mean, feel. I said that. No, no, no. I yeah, <laughs> and I don't feel like the nigga montage was a stretch. Nor do I feel like he feels that way because I feel like he was genuine when he said seeing that play back hit a little different because I hear stuff back from us and it hits different than when we let it fly out our mouths. When you hear something played back. You hear things from a third person point of view. When you hear something played back to you, it's like, oh, I didn't know that sounded like that. You know how you meant it here. You know how you wanted it to come across. Right, right. But it ain't coming across like that. And you can replay it forty times. It ain't coming across like that. Because A, yeah. there's no where there's no world where a white person should be saying the N word. Right. It's not a stretch. It's a it's a legit montage, twelve minutes long, to show you how many times the number one broadcaster in the world, podcaster in the world, has used the N word, so I think when he saw that shit play back, all of those moments, all at once, is like ah, this don't look good. Yeah, this don't. So I think the apology was genuine, cause it don't it it don't look good. Now at the end of the day, I still stand on what I said last week. I wasn't bothered by it because if you know Joe Rogan, you know he says the N word. Yeah, I think every I think he I does? know you knew because yeah. you you know about Joe Rogan. What you I mean? Knew, <laughs> I mean, I knew because I, 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 I t- I've heard him say it a few times. Listen uh, to the podcast, but uh, he ain't said it in a long. He definitely ain't said it since he been on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not even that. Like he just be telling a story, or they'll be talking about uh, just people using the word, and he'll just say it in speech, uh, like yeah. in conversation, like he's black. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, cool. Listen, I still stand by. If we know this. And other people in the industry know this, then it's, I feel like it's up to the black people in that industry with the power to hold that man accountable. Because honestly, Spotify ended that nigga for 100 mil. Mm. He ain't going nowhere. More than yeah, that, 300 mil. 300 mil? Yeah. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. He ain't going nowhere. It's just a nasty little blemish. It's just council culture, yeah. honestly. Oh. They, they, they had to dig up the clips. They did an interview with the guys that dug up the clips and put them all together. Um, so like, it's just like people just make a living off canceling people. Oh, like, yeah. like, bro, why take all that time that. to put all that together? Hey, you got to think about I it. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad at him being canceled because you brought this up last week. Whoopi Goldberg got to sit at home for two weeks because of the color of her skin, not because of what she said. It's because of the color of her skin combined with what she said. This man got a twelve minute nigga montage and he gonna keep podcasting. Yeah, nothing's well, gonna stop that. Yeah. That's because the Jewish community it, hold people accountable for talking shit about them. Black you, people don't. When you put it in contents like that, I can see how that shit is verbally wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because both of these people are in the public eye. She spoke out. Well, she ain't really spoke out. She just said some shit about some Jews. I think right. that's, and that's, they fucking kill. Right, that's and, what I'm and saying. And that's, and that's they a, hold people accountable for talking shit But that's not holding anybody that. accountable. She didn't, Nick Cannon didn't say anything offensive, nor did Whoopi Goldberg say anything offensive. These people haven't said anything now, offensive. Now, Whoopi this wasn't nigga, offensive, but she was incorrect on the things that she said. It doesn't matter. Don't nothing. speak if you he don't know. He could have called her She could have, but she didn't. She t- she said something about the Jewish community that wasn't true. It wasn't true. So why speak if you don't know? But we're comparing mm. apples to oranges here. What? Nigger, I don't see Jews as a race of people. I see them as white people. She didn't say that, did she? I thought she said that the Holocaust wasn't about race. Oh, shit. That's still like, uh, like I just don't know. You well, don't know I mean, as a white person in America, you what? cannot say nigger. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know yeah, that. You know, that for sure. I like mean, I, a lot of people, you know. I, my point is, Hitler we was know. Hitler was white. Huh? We, I said, a lot of people Hitler was killing was white. Right. To I'm us, saying. but they were Jews. Yeah, they you were Jews, but, you know. They were white Jews. People. But, I mean, what defines a race? Exactly. Skin color defines a no, race? No, it doesn't. I right. guess. But she don't those, know that. If you've been in America people. your whole life, you don't know that. Her last color, name though. is Goldberg. That's a Jewish last name. She got to know a something. Last name. Yeah, and that's not even her real last name. That's the name she took up. But she's I was about from to say, America. You know, you know huh? Whippy she's don't got from hit America. with a couple Jewish and dicks. She, and she said, "Hey, couple of them. I, I, we, I correlate race with color." Mm-hmm. 
like Americans do. We correlate race with color. Americans don't correlate race with anything else. We got white people. We don't know if you Irish, German, French, Scottish. You're kind of right about that. We just see white right. people. It just on the other hand, with black, with white folks, they see a black man. They don't know if he's African, Jamaican, Haitian, Dominican. It's a black man in, they, in America. He's right. In he's America, right. he's right. So therefore, she he's all right. she did was misspeak. This nigga said something that he knows he should not say in this country. Like every white person knows the N word is like taboo. He said it right. in the clip. Hey, that word's taboo. I'm gonna defend uh, Hollywood one more time. <laughs> Joe Rogan. That's his shit. He can't fire himself. Whoopi Goldberg works for ABC. Bam. Oh no no no! I'm I'm not saying I'm <laughs> not I'm not saying you wrong because, but he owns Joe Rogan podcast. Right. He don't own Spotify. Right. He don't own Spotify. And the point I'm but making Spotify don't own him either. The point I'm making is this: <laughs> when I was listening to Joe Budden talk about his Spotify deal and the language and how their contract is worded, it's vastly different between how they word thing for white folks. White folks can get on the air and do this shock jock shit and not be held accountable for nothing they say. They, say. they get praised for this. As you see, they he said the N-word, Fox, the, the right wing offered him money to keep doing it. <laughs> if we are even remotely uneducated about another race, not offensive, just uneducated, we could be removed off of a platform. Oh, you gonna be removed? It ain't right. so. It, could I, be. I'm just pointing out the inequality. I know they. Not, I know there's nothing that can happen to Joe Rogan. We know this. We all know this. I'm just pointing out the inequality, not for yeah. you and I. More so for the. But audience. what about Chappelle? Because Netflix is standing behind Chappelle, which is a that's rare. Yeah, when but Chappelle that's you reach that certain level where you just untouchable. Rare. And Rogan on that level, I feel like Chappelle on that level. I feel like Chappelle is on that level, but I don't know, I don't know how much of his last stand up is affecting him, because you still got your Netflix deal intact. I'm gonna still watch it. Of right. course, we, everybody <laughs> still watch it. Like I'll, I'll still, still listen. Watch. I'll still listen to Rogan. He does great interviews. Like yeah. you know, what I'm saying like if he's interviewing somebody, I'm interested in. I want to hear the conversation, but. At the same time, I don't know how much, like, just like with Rogan, I don't know how much this has impacted him. I don't know what they're telling him over at Spotify. Like, hey, you need to do this. We the need to do this. The check been cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't know what the back, what the backlash is. 70 episodes removed. I don't know. what he, Yeah, they you know removed 70 episodes where he said the N-word. Now, that, that's a large number. They just, that is. That's <laughs> what they're telling us. Same thing with Dave Chappelle. We don't know the backlash. We don't know what opportunities he's missing because of that show. We just know the Netflix opportunity is staying intact. Same thing with Joe Rogan. We just know Spotify is staying intact. We don't know what other opportunities he may miss because of this. So, I mean, I think it's going to keep going. What's this? Week two of this? Yeah. This week two of this. So, I, his name is going to be out there for and a while. this shit all started with the COVID misinformation shit, and then the clip came out. Oh, NDRE yeah. re- put that together, matter of fact. They said it. Oh, really? They said NDRE re- herself put that together, the nigga montage. Oh, no. Nah, it was three montage. guys on uh, Barstool Sports talk that was interviewed about that. They said they didn't want us to put it together and was sending it out to celebrities. Mm. And getting hopefully one of them were put the video out. Mm. I mean, one thing about Joe. Is Joe interview a large amount of people. of people, and some people are that he interviews are offensive to a group of people. Yeah, and the crazy thing is, you can't touch Joe because it's just like, you know, it seemed like he do no wrong. So it's just like whenever he is doing wrong, you gotta reach for that shit. Right, you and gotta, he co- like, he'll have a large amount of people. Sorry, to cut you off. He have a large amount of people on there, but he do come back at them if they say something that he don't think is right right if he knowledgeable about it he gonna say something about it back to them and oh, yeah. say all right well i read this and that's not true i remember he had an episode where um he was talking about the vatican and a lot of people didn't like that episode because you know what i'm saying yeah, it was so wrapped around like christian faith and the all world's largest shit. religion is catholic is yeah, muslims but i don't know who's muslim oh, okay it's muslim, in there. muslim playing basketball but anyway <laughs> Um, Shout to Stack Five. Right, right. But uh, you know what I'm saying? The crazy <laughs> thing was, you know what I'm saying? They was pointing out the the evils in the Vatican. You know what I'm saying? Like pure shit that just seemed like it's evil. And like people was getting mad over that shit. They really was about to cancel him over that. So I'm surprised. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, that shit didn't get as much traction as it did for him just saying the N-word. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's crazy. I, I, like I said, I feel like there's more to come. 
it's a lot that happens on that show. Hell, it's it's uh anti LGBTQ things that happen oh, yeah. on that show, mm-hmm. and I've it's listened to lot. those episodes. So I mean, I I know that show is diluted with that, and that's one of the main reasons I tune in. I want to hear an alternate opinion. That I want to hear an opinion that's not the same as mine because I want to know what shell. I want to know what they thinking. He um then he interviewed some racist dude. Yeah, he had a few races yeah. up there. Yeah, some racist dude. He interviewed smoking weed with the motherfucking Those, all kind of shit. I don't know if you ever heard a racist interview. Actually, a eye opening. Not eye opening like wow, I can't believe this guy feels this way. But you get to hear. It, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. get to hear the thoughts and ideas and the processes and where this shit comes from and how deeply rooted it is and in, into this people. And that's why that's one of the reasons I like that show. Usually when people hate things, I'm just talking about all people, it's, it's probably deeper than what you think it is. Oh, facts. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's some kind of psychological drama that don't happen Yeah. to make you hate a certain thing. So, you know, I, ne- I never try to judge people off of, you know, things they do and things they hate. You know what I'm saying? I talk a lot of shit, but, you know, I still yeah. try to stay out of the judgmental thing because people be struggling with shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times. Right. For sure. And they struggle with shit. shit and I know raised. I'm struggling right now. My stomach hurt. I got to <laughs> fart like a motherfucker, but I'm holding this shit in. You know what I'm saying? For the yeah. show and for my brother's sake. You know what I'm saying? Because if I let this motherfucker... Pick, right, yeah, them, vegan, them, <laughs> them vegan farts be stinking. I'm good, man. <laughs> we went too long on Rogan. I'm struggling. Um, I thought it was going to be a quick hitter. Peloton. 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 Um, Shout out to my nigga Alex Toussaint. <laughs> Oh, that's the nigga that made Peloton? Nah, that's one of the... Uh, I think I rode a Peloton once or twice, but that's the one... He was one of the instructors I rode, too. No. Oh. <laughs> Peloton employees got laid off this week. About Damn. People, about close to 3,000 employees got uh, laid off this week. Damn. Um, company's been struggling since last year, maybe. Mid Ain't last year. Ain't nobody buying that shit. Hey, COVID over, bro. Gyms uh, back uh, up. Yeah, gyms... The opening of gyms is really what killed this company. This was a kind of like a bubble this was a bubble company um it kind of blew up during the pandemic people in the house need things to do want to be active so they made a, a good chunk of money and now they're at a point where you know they're trying to find a way to get back to where they were in the prime covid times this company's been around more than 10 years yeah um i read so um i like that that one company it's like peloton but they not they tonal just- Tunnel. Uh, LeBron tunnel. owned Tonal. Well, he one of the owners of Tonal. I think that might be it. Where it's like a full, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a full gym. Yeah, I like that. One. Have y'all ever ridden a Peloton? Yeah, I rode it twice, I believe, once mm-hmm. or twice. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a spin class. Okay. Have and you, you ever did a spin your own class? Challenging weight on. Well, that. they got different. Um, they got different rides you can do. It's like different instructors you can si- sign up for an instructor mm-hmm. and just do that video. But it's connected to the Peloton, so you can set it where it up your uh, your resistance mm-hmm. at the same time. I mean, it's a good workout for sure. It's just like a spin class. Oh, I seen one when that motherfucker was traveling up a hill. Yeah, like um, they the black they, dude. Yeah, 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 that nigga was cycling, boy. <laughs> Mad people got their Peloton during the um, pandemic. Yeah, that I know. Mad people got a Peloton. Oh. Um, and it probably was doing good even early when gyms open. I know a lot of people were on the fence about going back out in the public. But yeah. I mean, it's cool to have, especially in your house. It's, it's a rich man's toy, though, I, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's most definitely. Yeah, is. and I think when the pandemic hit, everybody's just looking for a good workout, and that's why it blew up. But it's still, like, something you should probably see in, like, a, 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 a I don't want to say rich, but a, well, a well-to-do family's home. Yeah. I remember this one lady. Hey, I haven't seen that shit in um <laughs> regular girls' apartments. I was yeah, just yeah, to say, yeah, it's yeah, this one sure. girl that be on uh, but Instagram. But they ain't no broke hoe. That's all she worked out That shit on. like 60 bucks a month. No, she's oh, a- yeah. <laughs> but this one girl on Instagram, that's all she work out on is on her Peloton. Yeah. She be at home. I was thinking they coming out with the rower. Shit. I was thinking about getting the rower when it came out. The Peloton world? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm, I'm to continue to go to the gym. <laughs> I hate working out at home. When I was when I first started working out as a big dude, it was at home, and it was because all the same reasons everybody you know kind of enjoys working out at home. Ain't nobody there, nobody to look at you, nobody can see you. Yeah, yeah. Because when you first go to the gym, you kind of you self conscious as fuck. You like damn. Yeah, okay, especially people in there lifting big weights. Boy, that thirty fifth push up be a doozy. Thirty <laughs> fifth. Oh, because you're doing sixty straight now. Ooh, that shit be arms wiggling and shit. You, your chest hit the floor? No. 
What you you have ninety degrees? Nah, you know what I'm saying. I stop about right, you know what I'm saying, right above my hands, and then I push back. That's okay, good. okay, you got a good push up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I be doing a lot of people kind of forty five degrees. Yeah, you gotta get at least below the elbow. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, right, yeah, right, right below, below my elbow. hands. I let at least it, when I do diamond push ups, cause that's the ones I really like. Oh uh, yeah, cut up the chest. Yeah, I like to point my thumbs up so I can, you know what I'm saying. Make sure you touch. Uh, yeah, there yeah, you go. You know there you go. Now? How much I weigh? Yeah. Probably about still one thirty five. <laughs> Last time I weighed, I was like one forty one. Nigga, what? Yeah, yeah you got got you got got big on them, did you? Yeah. Hey man, don't hit me, bro. Eating, <laughs> eating them beans. Big on them. Eating them beans. Right, I feel oh, you. Them black? chickpeas. Which yeah. ones? Black? Or black, chickpea? all of them. Oh, I had uh, made like this these chili cheese fries the other day, but I made it with lentil beans. Shit was amazing. Oh, okay. I'm about to ask you now. Vegas, I had lentils. Vegas yeah. have to get down in the kitchen. Right. That shit was amazing. Bro. My homegirl Jennifer brought some lentils to a potluck one time. She Indian. Woo, oh, boy. She was, everybody oh, throat and butthole was burnt oh, up. Oh, I know. She killed them beans. <laughs> don't, try, don't try no Indian lady on no beans, boy. Right, they, boy. they good with lamb. They good with lamb. <laughs> They'll tear your ass up. All right. Um, actress AJ Johnson was on lip service. Actress AJ Johnson plays Shireen in House Party and Jody's mom and baby baby boy. Have y'all seen what she looked like? Yeah, yeah. she's strong looking now. This bitch look good. I mean, she look good. Wow. Dude, look, we talking about the same her. one? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, uh, talking about Jody mama. The one Jody, that got yeah. African squat by uh, yeah. Ben <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in the movie. Bro, she's strong as Yo, hell. Yo, baby boy underrated. She look good as hell. It should be. It's probably like a top, 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 she top looks five black good. movie. Shout out to Tyrese. Yeah, that is. I don't think so. I think she looks weird. For 50, she look good. For she 50? AJ. It's like Aja. Asia. AJ what? Asia Johnson. This is it right here. You do follow her. This is uh, her right here. Let me see. Yeah, that's, yeah, oh, that's, yeah, her? that's her. Hey, she look young. Yeah, that's her. Her or Jill Scott, bro? Which one is just to, to fulfill Jill your Scott, 50 nigga. plus Jill, Jill uh, Scott, fantasy? Jill I don't Scott, even know easy. how old Jill Scott is. Honestly, she might. <laughs> she don't look that good to me. Like she look like. Get, I'm not. I'm not. No, a fan. no. Go go to a picture. Give us go the picture. To a picture. Yeah, you on a video? Let me see. I'm the, not a fan. You looking at the real her? Still. Give us the Photoshop her. Yeah, we want the Photoshop her. Let's go to this Jamaican picture right here. Where right. she in Jamaica? Look at that she's cankle. Still not a picture. He's stupid, man. <laughs> bro, she in shape like a motherfucker. Not she she in shape, but she like strong looking. Yeah, she she work, work out. out. Yeah, I mean straight to me, man. Right. I'm still going uh, Jill Scott. <laughs> yeah, she's still strong. She's she gonna be my side piece though. She a side she piece. She looks soft. She a arm wrestle your ass. I'm with it. For all the, the, Jill, all the Jill like, Scott I win, I'm, I'm the main. Every time I be thinking about Jill Scott, I'm like. hmm. I know that's a, like nah. She Joe Joker right. Scott can arm Like uh, I know I'm skipping ahead, but like how uh, I think it was Nelly let everybody all the women down this week. Jill Scott had never let us down once, it, once it finally dropped. I don't think women can let you down. <laughs> I don't shit. think they can let you down. Um, Black China did. I think it was Black. Yeah, that China. shit was poor. Yeah, that shit was poor. <laughs> um, AJ Johnson had a threesome for her 50th birthday with two dudes. Okay then. So she got yeah. a train ran on her. <laughs> so that, so it's a train. Yeah, whoop whoop. I got so, so you think it's a, so why what constitutes a train? Let me get the James definition of train. Two Johnsons. That's it. Yep. <laughs> That's literally the definition. It, you got a you got you got a Johnson. You got to think about it. Johnson. You got a caboose. <laughs> then you got another Johnson. Connected. Right. All together that makes a train. <laughs> woo woo. I don't know, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That makes a train. I used to think that too. And then I had a long conversation with a group of people, and they said if it's three people committing a sexual act together, that is a threesome. Now, what would involve together? They just said as long as everybody having some type of sexual action in the room, it's a threesome. Because hmm. I used to, you know, I grew up, and it was like if it's two dudes, it's a train. If it's two girls, it's a threesome. So you know how trains connect, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong answers here. There's no I'm right or wrong saying. answers here. Two Johnsons. Yeah. That's well, no, train. there is a wrong answer here because the threesome cons- consists of three people having sex. Don't matter the sex. A threesome consists, by definition, is three people having sex. So what's three Johnsons? 
That's a still a threesome. That's a weird threesome. <laughs> I ain't saying that. Y'all know. Y'all know. I support y'all. <laughs> That's a weird threesome. For, to a heterosexual man, that is a weird, weird threesome. Um, <laughs> our three girls, that's a threesome. Right. To a homosexual two man, that's a fun Saturday that, night. That's, that's a delightful threesome. <laughs> yeah. I, two, 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 I, honestly, I'm not with the lesbian shit no more. Like, I don't even like watching this shit. No nah, I was going through a phase. I would do the threesome with two women, but I don't want to see just women. Oh, I was about nah, to say. Nah, I bigger. went through this phase where I was watching uh, like lesbian porn, but it was like a dyke. And a woman. I tried to watch that. And a straight yeah, woman. That. And I was like, yo, this this shit kind of real. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm good. Now, that, I could watch that threesome. Yeah. All right. I'll keep, I'm going to keep going. So you, think, got the, uh, you got the girl, girl, man threesome. I think on the uh, dyke porn, they try to overcompensate for not being a man with They extra be wearing strokes. that thing out. Yeah, they be going in. <laughs> Hold too on, you much. seen this before? Yeah. <laughs> they be, wear, the they yeah. be wearing their asses out. Hold on, talk yeah. about it. Now I got a question. Now I got a question. If the two guys, if you define, if you don't define a threesome with one woman and two guys as a, as a train instead of a threesome, then is three guys a train? <laughs> three guys on one one guy. This is a threesome. Three guys. Oh, is, uh, is it is it considered? That's a, a good train? question, James. Because now I want to know if you're being even kill or are you just being. If they all facing the same way now. <laughs> 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 Anyways, man. Oh, <laughs> Hold on, I got one last question. One last question. <laughs> if it's two butch or dyke, I don't know what to call. Them. If it's two uh, man films, girls. yeah, and and no, if it's two studs and one film, is that a train? Two studs, and they both using strap ones. Is that a train? Damn. Sound like a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not yeah. like I said. Right, she gonna be walking funny <laughs> tomorrow for sure. I see it as a threesome, man. But this is the only thing I did hear. This is a good uh, debate I heard. Um, I heard this on Horrible Decisions a long time ago. Weezy was saying if it was truly a threesome with two. No, Mandy was saying if it was truly a threesome with two guys and one girl, then the guys have to touch too. That would make it a threesome. Oh, okay. Then. Weezy was saying she didn't think that. That was the debate they were having. Yeah. That's kind of the debate I was having when I used to think that it wasn't a threesome. When I used to think it was a because the guys had to sexually interact. Because if it was two girls and a guy, the girls would sexually interact. Yeah. And John, if it you was, ever in a train on a chick, uh, I prefer not to say. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Huh? Why? I mean, I don't know. I don't really. I that don't know how I would say yes. that. That means yes. I never knew this. Can we move on? That means he's done it. <laughs> I don't want to. Nah, I don't think I have. I don't want to envision my man it? in line smoking. I don't want to envision my man in line smoking cigarettes waiting his turn. Nah, I never that's did how I see a train like that before. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, not like that. But I don't, that's how I see a train. I see a train has. He said he's smoking a cigarette waiting on his turn. <laughs> when I heard, when I heard about trains, when I heard about trains growing up. It was always a guy with right. A you girl. go into the room and then you leave. And then when you leave, the next guy goes. Yeah, I've in. never done anything oh, like that. No. And then when you leave, the next now if both of the guys are in a room, I never caught that as a train. That's I, a I revolving door. That ain't no train. That that's what I thought a train was. A line of dudes waiting to go in and pound this one girl. Nah, it ain't no line of dudes. But I have friends who have had sex with a girl and their two homeboys, one girl. I've never looked at it as a train. I've always looked at it as a train. Remember threesome. that time we did that shit? I'm fucking with you. That's, that's a gang <laughs> that's bang. Okay, I did brother. try to make it happen. You're right. All right. That's, that's a gang <laughs> bang, brother. You wasn't with the shits. I would, be, I would be regretting that right now. If y'all smell something, I'm sorry. That's not but a that's gang. A gang <laughs> bang in my gang, mask. A gang is more than three. What? A gang is more than three. A gang bang is more than three. Well, that's 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 a gang bang. Why is it that a woman can't have the same equal? <laughs> I just want to know. I mean, she you. can. She just getting gang she... bang. <laughs> Why you can't get gang bang? I don't want to. By, 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 by maybe because we stopped oh, working. Oh, by two women? <laughs> oh, look. Maybe because we stopped nah, working. Though. That's, that's what I'm still, talking about. That still sounds crazy, though. But why when there's two women on you, it's not a gang bang? That's definitely not a gang bang. What, what about five women on you? That's a gang, not a gang bang? That, that sounds like you getting banged. You're not doing the banging. What five women to you? That's not a gang. Yeah, I gotta be the banger. They wow. could be banging your ass. No, Can't you bang. ever seen a gang bang? Uh, the, well, the girl gang bang. That's a lot of women to please. Your back, your stomach it's gonna be like wore out. If you watch, if you, if you watch the gang bangs with a girl's gang banging the dude, it's like six. 
It's like what six is, girls to one guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll take those odds. I'll take those. James odds. view on <laughs> sexuality is funny, man. <laughs> I'm uh, just a standard man. I can't yeah, help it. you're definitely a man's man. You're, yeah. a, cave, you're a caveman. Yeah, yeah. Right? old yeah. school. You old I'm a cave, school. I'm a caveman, but this nigga said he cool with niggas jacking their dicks while he oh, got the I didn't say I was cool. <laughs> I said that was gonna happen at the sex house. I didn't say I was cool with that shit. That nigga gonna look up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That nigga gonna be looking at uh, daddy. Yo. <laughs> nigga, that shit gonna fly. Let me know when you're about to finish, Landon, because I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> Next thing you know, flat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's nasty. I never said I was cool with that shit, man. Oh, Fuck yeah, you, man. man. Y'all niggas crazy. Fuck all of you. All right, man. Uh, What's next? <laughs> this is next. All right. This fire-ass freestyle. Oh, uh, yeah. I got to let the audience hear it. Yeah. Here we go, y'all. Oh, shit. I'm not plugged it in. It ain't plugged in Sorry. for sure. Well, while we're going through that, the baby really put on for Charlotte this weekend. But dropping a freestyle. Oh, he got his shirt on. That <laughs> shit loose as a bitch. <laughs> I got yeah, a, yeah, LA Lakers. I got extra large. Justin. I didn't know it was gonna fit hold like on, this, James. Hold on, hold on. So it, it is Super Bowl weekend, uh, motherfucker. It was, it, was, it was Super Bowl weekend over the weekend. <laughs> hold on, I like your intro. What? I like your intro. I didn't know where you were going. I didn't oh, want you yeah, to jump yeah. straight to the end. Don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah we we'll start here. No, no, you you keep going. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know he he had a fire ass um, freestyle so over the weekend. The baby's been in L.A. all week. Yeah, for the Super Bowl over the past weekend. Got in a fight. Hold on, not yet. See, oh okay, all gotta, right, my bad. You know, build up. All right. So he dropped by L.A. Leakers to drop this freestyle. Credible D. Now, only reason I wanted to play the freestyle on this show because for the past six months. Y'all been trying this man's lyrical skill. Both yeah. of them. Who? Me? Yeah, thank you for admitting I said he it. fell off. Thank you. Damn. Thank you. And you agreed. I agree. <laughs> and Sherelle and uh, Sierra agreed. <laughs> okay. Let's hear it. Jay Sour Milk. That's right. Part two. Wow. Part two. Our brother's here for the surprise visit. Uh, yeah, for sure. Out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in well, LA. He always keeps the bars ready. You know what I'm saying? Oh, never mind. We here in LA. All yeah. oh, light skin people. Yeah. 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 The baby's here. You see what it is, baby. Let's go get it, my brother. I'm gonna need a hype, niggas. Baby, I'm pushing P. Double off in my side. Drop the window with the light just to let them hoes look at me. Yeah, I won't keep it. I'd rather be free with her. Give her back to the streets. Keep it G with her. Might fuck with me for three years. Only three times will I sit down in public and eat with her. Must have forgot who he is. I've been fucking niggas so since 15. It's a surprise. Only got me three kids. Look in his eyes. You can tell it he real. Look on the net. You might think that he fake. Look at the plats, the stats, and where I came from. Ain't no way you can say he ain't great. So I have to wake up today and go sell my state. Nigga, I don't want it no more. I don't want the whips either. Trying to make me mad about a hoe. Nigga, don't know what's going on. I don't want the bitch either. I drop off with you and keep her. Nigga, I ain't new to this shit. I've been true to this shit since the 745 yellow beamer. Pull up with a cutest little bitch. I don't open her doors. I just fuck her all night and I leave her. Yeah, he pushed the peak as he paid for it. I get that pussy for free. I'm on welfare. I fell in love with her. She was my trap girl. I used to make the mailman press the doorbell. She got that good head. If she got long hair, I got no hair. Fuck niggas hating, but oh well. I'm the type of rap nigga, kill a rap nigga. Now I still walk in and do my little show there, nigga. On, I'm pushing P. I'm the realest one in it. She Ooh. fuck with me. That boy still in his feelings. I'm in Atlanta, buying designer. Fuck around me and I shoot you in Linux. I'm in New York where I can't have a gun. I'ma just fly into New Jersey with it. I'm back in Cali and I never run. Play you gonna go play with Tupac and Biggie? Yeah, I got two daughters, but I need a son. You solid enough? Okay, baby, come give me. Lay back and push out that P. He gonna be born a player. I never let niggas play with me. It's baby, nigga. Huh? Okay, yeah. he going. And I'm pushing P, nigga. Let me get some of the water. <laughs> yeah, he uh-huh. on fire. Yeah, get that man some yeah. water. Huh? Weezy, what up? We, we, we ain't letting him off the hook yet. We ain't going to You up? got something else loaded? I was come hoping on, you was going to say that. Cause Before we get into the second one, scale from one to ten, where you at? I'm going to give him a straight 10. Cause yeah, that, shit that was five. five. Yeah. Was going that shit nice. Yeah, I give him a 10. Any girl that love this nigga, you it. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. You, you was an idiot. That shit was P. You now was an was idiot. Because he meant everything he just said. That verse was way more P than the original song. He nigga. kept it pushing P for real. Yes. <laughs> Look, it's Super Bowl weekend. This, it's a this big weekend. Game. The tone is being set in L.A. The Come baby's on. here for part two as well. Watch this. Hold up. Hold up. Watch this. You ready? Oh, man. 
nigga, this shit too easy. Fucking that whore in my Yeezys. Won't take them off. Soon as I'm done, I'm leaving. She begging me for the state. I'm having business to handle. Can't waste time creeping. She got to thinking I'm bait. I guess it's my fault. My feelings change with the seasons. I cup hoes when it's cold outside. Then I get going when it's hoes outside. Put up on them niggas in the oh my God. Put up on them niggas in the cold ass ride. I used to serve niggas pound every day in a fishbowl rental with a 045. I ain't even have to use the scale no more. Wait, have a motion nigga with no my line. Me and you are not the same. You a Mr. Mean nigga. I get mad and hit on me a nigga. I flash out, put that stick out. Uh, never go back by the bitch. That ain't part of my pimpin'. That ain't how I get down. Yeah, I stop a grown ass man in front of all of his niggas. Let's see who the bitch now. All out the window. Yeah, nigga, I'm it. I know we supposed to be mad at the baby and that nigga canceled, but that nigga lit. And these niggas hoes, I came from the bottom. I didn't have shit. Wasn't he supposed to see this? She got to staring as soon as I hop out the car. I didn't even have on the fit. Came back with the fade on them hoes. Uh, yeah, looking just like money, Mitch. Uh, nigga, this shit too easy. That's an FN on my hip, no beeper. I don't trust none of these hoes, no sir. I ain't claiming none of these hoes, not even. Nigga talking about baby on the bras. Nigga, so what? So I'm pleading. I ain't had to show me a nigga what's happening in a while. Trigger finger motherfucker squeezing. Oh, gosh, and then now that bitch is. I'm back in this bitch myself with that iron. Anyone you niggas fuck with me wrong on my people, it's gonna be a killer. I got on my motherfucking grind when the money slow down. Niggas got in their feelings. Fuck on the slow and I don't even kiss her. I'm a dog ass nigga, baby. Huh? Yeah. Nigga, this shit too easy. Fucking that who on my Yeezys. I'm in this bitch with the leakers. I'm sorry, man. Bruh, they definitely gonna have this shit on the mixtape somewhere. Got to. You remember when Wayne used to go on niggas? Oh, niggas, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then somewhere out of nowhere, you just hear that shit on the album. Right. Shit has he used to, to go to the Big Tigger booth. Oh, yeah. It just go crazy Rap in there. City or whatever. So whatever. nowadays, it's Leakers and K-Slay. Oh, okay. I think this... I think I got my shit, shit ready whenever I go on Leakers, you know what I'm saying? You oh, yeah. If we ever go on Leakers, we ever go on Leakers, we gonna go on Leakers. Hey, we ever go on leakers? We doing it for the culture. I'm telling you right I now. I got it for man. the culture. Shit, don't ask me nothing. Get <laughs> all that shit. Uh, come up with some shit and forget it. I want to say, uh, this, yo, this is good. This was good. Though. This was hot. I fuck with this. Yeah, I, I really fuck with this. Good for the baby back in his bag. I didn't know what we were gonna get. But I, I ain't gonna lie, I like the little what he's been giving us. I like hit and all that shit he let's, just dropped. Let's I, talk I about the fight. <laughs> I like it, man. What a transition. Well, why James. not? Because I'm trying to teach you how to pod, man. Let me, oh, let okay. Me, let me teach you how to tell a story room. Let's, let's, we, <laughs> we're gonna build up. Oh, okay. We building? So, yeah, we building. So he done, he dropped the freestyle. Now you heard the anger in his voice. Right. You heard how he was talking. Right. He was on one. He feeling himself. You feeling good? So I guess him and his friends and his family, they go bowling. Yeah. Right now, after that, right? Yeah, no, nah, right after that. Now I don't know if y'all recall, Baby was told by Danny Lay's brother from the mess that happened last year that if he was caught in LA, it was on site. Oh. So he pulled up on him. Oh. And it was on site. Uh, was it, it though? Was, it was a sight to see. It, it was a sight. <laughs> so let's let's break, if you, let's if break you down hear, the fight. <laughs> if you hear Danny Lee brother side of the story, he said he tried to talk to him. Right, but he was talking shit beforehand. No, oh, okay. No, I mean, let me start by saying, first of all, we don't condone any type of violence out here, my brothers. <laughs> no, we, this nigga got to drop five disclaimers. <laughs> I didn't want to let y'all know we shouldn't be out here fighting, you know what I'm saying, because these kids got parents, and they got to grow up. Now, that I do agree with. They got to grow up in this atmosphere, and you should, I mean, you should try to settle this thing with words. But with all that being said, trying to get into the funny, <laughs> uh, Brandon Billis, or whatever Danny Lee's brother's name was, Brandon Bills, he said when all that shit happened, he got on Instagram and said it's on site when he see the baby. So if someone say that to you, you still thinking when y'all see each other, it's going to be on, on site. site. You're right. You're right, though. I can't be mad at that. Right. I mean, it's still ridiculous. You got all that money. You shouldn't be out there fighting in no bowling alley. Oh, we talked about this, didn't we? He seemed like what? he was the first one that threw the punch. This? No, we didn't text about okay, this. Damn, yeah, I just said. He was the first one that threw the punch. Right. And, the then, his, and then his $300,000 a year security took over. Man, now, I think one, that was his brother actually out there whooping that nigga that ass. One nigga, that big nigga that holding that hair was I was about security. to say, that oh, one okay, big okay. nigga <laughs> that fucking did the swanton <laughs> bomb on this nigga. Hey, I said, he had damn. that man by the hair. Hey, you see how quick his wife beater came off? They ripped his wife beater up. This is how you know you hurt. You see how you walked away from the fight? <laughs> <laughs> no, his yeah, fit, no, straight as a bitch. His feelings was hurt. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Major. Well, he said right. none of his oh, friends yeah. helped him or something. I know he didn't come by himself. Where all his people was. I have no idea. Well, does, he get it? does he get props for coming alone, knowing that this guy wouldn't be I will alone? Say, I will say Maybe he really you stood to up talk. for your sister. Yeah, you got to. And at the end of the day, that's a lot that could be said about Honorable that. man. Very honorable but, man. 
You got your ass whipped. Well, I mean, you got to come with a strategy at least, sir. Boy, that I would have took a bowling ball straight. That nigga came to the baby's the party at the bowling alley, had on a wife beater and a bubble coat, and was holding a drink. And that nigga like he had, got invited. And left, <laughs> and left bare chested. <laughs> like he got invited. Bro was there chilling, talking to the ladies and everything. He said he came in with a bubble coat and a wife beater <laughs> and left <laughs> bare chested. Yeah. That shit crazy. Hey, man, I, I, I watched the video. Yo, man, and a lot of thoughts ran through my mind after because I watched it a lot. I, I just kept watching it because I was trying to figure out first of all why. I'll be trying to see the connect. That's, Sometimes it'd be hard. I was trying to see the connect too. Niggas don't be videotaping right. <laughs> I was trying to see the connect too, but I couldn't understand. Even if so, <laughs> why the bowling alley and then the lane is they slipping, slipping and falling. <laughs> It's not that even slippery ass lanes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it was a clown fight to me. Like it was like, what do we? Why? Why? Hey, why are we doing this? Niggas gonna find any reason to justify losing, nigga. No, yeah. no, no, nigga, no. them lanes were slippery. Even, they all should have known but better. Is that not they a got, good reason to get your ass? Like, nigga, they, I, them I lanes had extra gloss on them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, but that's a valid I reason. I know they clothes were stained. You ain't getting that out. That's a valid say, reason. I called up there. They don't double gloss the shit before <laughs> we even start fighting, motherfuckers. So first of all, I'm I'm just upset at the fight because I'm like, all right, on, t- on top of the fact that it's not fair, they can't even get their ground. Yeah, that's so true. So even if you could get one on the baby, by the time you even connect, you probably done slipped out yeah, of sync. Yeah, you don't true. slip. I mean, My- but it's equal grounds. Baby gonna slip too, though. He true, did slip. True, but it's five <laughs> of y'all. I'm not mistaken. But hold on, hold he on, slipped on, before on, they got on, on but he might have had the bowling shoes on because them shits ain't got no grip. It's five yeah, of them. Yeah. So he had no chance, but even if there was still five on even ground, he could have got a hit on somebody. Yeah, you, you ain't <laughs> like, had no kind of ground. no chance now. The nigga had on regular shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All of them niggas had on regular shoes. <laughs> Shoes, some regular shoes, nigga. At the you thought you had bowling your, shoes? Yeah, you supposed to have on some non-slips, nigga. Bro, they got to do this. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Like some that. shoes for crews. You talking about the McDonald's shoes? <laughs> serve safes. Where your goddamn serve safes at, nigga? Hold on. You going to start some shit? This my second analyzation of the whole fight. <laughs> it's some damn slippery I was, ass. I was mad at the power-up on the punch from Baby. Why? Oh yeah, that this was a nigga, big Superman punch. This nigga came out like Gal. Like you remember what Gal? Yeah, was I was I was trying to see the connect. Hey. This nigga hit B and then A, and I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like why? It, it was wide. Hey, so, bro, that so, nigga from Charlotte. Hold on, in Charlotte, we got a rule: you still off first, you win, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> the you win, nigga. Hold on, you won. But I'm upset. But I'm upset at it because I'm like. I guess like uh, so. So at the gym, you know, we we sometimes we box. This I we use. I haven't done in a long time. Now I know you watch the UFC, so I've watched a lot of yeah, fights I with know. Johnny. And so I'm looking at the fight, and I'm thinking about me and Johnny hitting the bag. Not that bag. Yeah, I'm gonna be hitting the bag. <laughs> not that bag. Fresh off the bag. bag, off that roof. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm thinking about us hitting the bag, and I'm thinking about that wide ass punch. I was like, Yo, Johnny, am I tripping or can we not beat this nigga ass one day? Not with that $300,000 year security we no, came. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all ain't get through that security. It's going to look just like that happened with her brother. That's yep. going to be us. And, <laughs> and, so, and, so, and so that was his response. I said, without the security, I'm just saying, look at him fight and look and think about like how fighters fight. Like, right. could this nigga be beat? So now I'm breaking down the fight like a fighter. I'm mad at the wide jab. Right. I'm mad that all the punches is wide. I'm mad nobody really knows how to throw a tight jab. Like, I'm like, yo, these that niggas That security do a hell of a headlock, though. <laughs> you you want to know what I think? I think the baby spends a lot of money on holding up his image. I think... You think half, he the nigga? Yeah, I think he did. I think... <laughs> That's I think, possible. I think half the time the baby get in the fight, that shit was planned. A lot of people said that about the Cam Cole Hard God Bless the Dead. They said that about him. Oh, yeah. Uh, they said that was playing it. The only thing I can't say was playing. Cam said that. The only thing I can't say that was playing was the nigga that he shot in Walmart. Okay, that definitely yeah. wasn't playing. Yeah, I, know, I don't know that man, but you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, rest in yeah. peace to him, too. He, he shot crazy. a nigga at Walmart. Yeah, that's that, before he was the baby. Yeah, well, he was. What, I think that, he, he just was, was the baby. He was baby Jesus. Yeah, I didn't know if he had transitioned <laughs> yet or not. 
He was baby Jesus did. He was actually about to drop that orange record. I still blank blank. Yeah, that's yeah, what blank blank. He was actually about to drop that on with Rock Nation, and they dropped him because he shot the nigga. Yeah, who don't care though? Like, <laughs> people don't care about what the baby do at all. He's still gonna sell records. Yeah, like this brother and disrespected his baby mama and slapped somebody. Chick. Yeah, slap that slap girl the in the club. Told her if you had the pop lot <laughs> sucking dick, you gay. <laughs> hey, he's still selling records, man. Untouchable, but. He is the number one streamer artist in the, I think not in, it's either in the States or in the yeah, world. Maybe because we enjoy artist. the ignorance. Yeah, uh, I but, do. But yeah. I enjoy it. Thanks yeah. for the uh, entertainment, baby. This, this was all good. Right. We, we appreciate what it, can man. you do next? Uh, keep entertaining. Don't, this, don't, don't nudge him now. Nah, nah, he ain't got nothing to lose. Tighten ain't nothing to win by beating my ass. Tighten up that punch, man. You, you might be the Floyd Mayweather this rap shit. If you tighten up that he punch. He definitely the same height, for sure. Because I ain't never seen a rapper fight this much. I've never seen rappers fight. I, right. And you kind of right, though. Yeah. Actually fight and Them win. niggas used to talk shit, but they never fought. T.I. T.I. used to try to scrap niggas. Did no, he try. win some, though? <laughs> uh-huh. Try. This nigga done literally on... Camera done fought niggas right. that we know of. I don't, I don't seen him get his ass right. beat. Who tip? Yeah, I ain't never seen tip fight. Never seen tip. He, was, seen he came right before the camp. The cell phone era was popping. So oh, somebody called this nigga out. on the cell phone. No. Did but, somebody knock out Scrappy when he came here? Oh yeah, n- plenty. Of oh yeah, I heard knocked that. out Scrappy. Yeah, there's a lot of hearsay about rapper fights, but like we never seen this many rappers. Bro, I think if you talk that gangster shit. You should have a pair of knuckles. I mean, on you, you open you you open it at the door for yeah, sure. Yeah, if you sit there and talk that gangster shit, rap about it, and all that's why you should pay three hundred thousand dollars a year for security because somebody's I mean, gonna shoot your ass. Somebody will shoot your They're ass. They're gonna test you. And but that's why I think, you don't go to jail I think either. every year, just like paying taxes, niggas should get in a fight game. You know what I'm saying? Like squabble up just to see how gangster you are. You you sitting here <laughs> selling gangster music, right? So how are we supposed to believe in the product? That's a good point. But when you're rich enough, you pay somebody to do it. Yeah, that's true. That's why I say <laughs> half the time he get into some shit, I think he paid. The crazy shit is it's like it's like levels to security because you got people like when you first start rapping, it's just your big ass homeboy that's your security. And then right. you get to like Jay-Z level and it's this ex-Marine that's probably our size, but he can kill you in three different ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's the one nigga I'm going for. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the million dollar security right there. I got a big homeboy. I know right now this nigga ain't squashing a great. <laughs> <laughs> if he ever my security, that nigga there for sure. I'm hiring. <laughs> I'm hiring Tim. Tim. Big Timbo. I'm hiring Tim. Oh yeah, Who's he's still Tim? big. This dude, he's still hoop. Yes, big. Tim is still large. Okay. And he do security would, for real, for real, right? I would yes. hire Purvis because yeah. Purvis a big scary nigga. Yeah. Ain't nobody bigger than Tim. Just bigger than Tim. Yeah. Uh, Purvis Tim big. bigger. Who you hiring? But Purvis muscle bound. I'm Purvis big as fuck. Yeah. Dog, if Purvis walked in here right now, you would swear he was Luke Cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he posted a picture this week. That shit. I was like, God damn, Purvis got some big ass titties. Bro, that nigga big as hell. <laughs> Muscle titties, too. All right, man. Uh, y'all let your girl go to school. Boy, you suck. Y'all, y- y'all let your girl His go to school. His going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> she work out, too. I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, she probably will. Y'all let y'all girl go to the pain sip? Pain sip? Mm. Not after what the fuck I seen. Hell yeah, no. Yeah, nah. I mean, shit. Go ahead, baby. Enjoy yourself. Shit. Ladies, the there. jig is topping up. and topping. There's no <laughs> more paint and sip for you guys, all right? Y'all out here wilding and at the paint and sip. We've seen what you're doing at the paint and sip. It's crazy. No more paint and sip. You can't hang out with your girls. Y'all not sipping champagne and painting pictures. You st- Maybe old girl was deprived. Maybe she was <laughs> deprived. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's perfect. I right know there. your friends were hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to move on. <laughs> uh, that nigga big as hell. I'm still hiring Tim. <laughs> I would I know, hire that nigga. That nigga got a future I, insecurity. <laughs> fucking with me. I know. I know her friends were embarrassed. Probably. Who? What would you do if your homeboy did that? What? Not I had sucking dick. To, no, to a girl. Nigga. Oh, I'm like, bro, we had a and sip, and you sucking dick, bro. First, are you saying no? You <laughs> said a girl, nigga. <laughs> and you said if your homeboy was employed, but. No. It, well, my homeboy employed. I'm, I'm gonna ask like, nigga yeah. where I can sign up. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, if it was the vice versa, the what? paid sip for the guys, and it's the girls that's walking. So around. he just start eating some cuckoo. Yeah, just in the middle. I'll be like, all right, bro. I see you, Tony. You wild. I see you, Tony. You wild, nigga. <laughs> you better hope that shit don't bite back. <laughs> this shit might got some scow hey, in hey, it. You uh-huh. see how different guys are. <laughs> I see you, Tony. This girl gets shamed all over the internet, but hey, she I ain't shaming her. Been all right. I ain't mad at her. I ain't shaming her. Do what you got to do. Show, them, show the world what you got. I, it looked bad. <laughs> it just didn't look appropriate. She was giving neck. Uh, her, friend, her friend was looking at it like it was like, bro, she had the whole penis in her mouth. 
Hey man, you gotta do what you <laughs> gotta neck. do. Wild shit. I see you. I see you, Sharisha. Straight neck. It was these niggas I used to love, bro. I know that shit sound crazy, but on poor <laughs> hub, the niggas used to come out with the like the little bear heads and shit. I used to be like, yo, oh, I need yeah, to yeah. sign up for this shit. <laughs> that shit used to look crazy. They used to go to like bachelor parties and they'd oh, be in there. Oh, but you used to be a stripper. Who? Well, formerly. <laughs> formerly. All you know right now. I was. I was a. What a was your name? String Bean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, the, the slim wonder, nigga. <laughs> I was in that bitch skinny as hell. <laughs> Black and mild to the stage. Bla- hey, I was grease. <laughs> I was grease down too, nigga. Grease down, nigga. All skin and bone, nigga. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on, you put on oil? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, don't think you I put, put on Vaseline, the, nigga. I don't think you put that on. <laughs> nigga, no sweating. <laughs> hey, James probably killed that shit, bro. I did. <laughs> I, Bro, I had to psych myself up. I ran out that tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> jumped on them big motherfuckers. Oh, all right, man. Them bitches had about 30 pounds of titty in between all of them. <laughs> That's a lot of titty, man. That's a lot of titty, It was a lot of titty. Mm. It was a lot of titty. Oh, get me started. Just oh. imagine a couch full of big titties. That would have been a nice way to end your night if one of them was deprived, just like the lady in the video. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, this week, man, there's plenty of penises on uh, Nelly was getting some head. There you go, dirty. That shit dropped. Damn, dirty. Nigga, Del- Nelly was nasty with it. Too. I was like, Nelly sound like me. Giving out I didn't encouragement. Even hear, it, hear it with sound. Giving out nah, encouragement. They, they nigga's, like, nigga's like, why you so damn fine? <laughs> nah, the nigga she was, was not pretty. They said that nigga was moaning all crazy. Oh, uh, he was. I was like, all right, now my nigga Nelly. Under the, under the, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, like, who? <laughs> what's a, what's a crazy night. moan for a man? If you hear a man moan like this, it's a, it's a, it's Probably a deal just, breaker. What is it? Probably I, like a bitch. Who? Uh, you know shit. Bro, I ain't even gonna lie. My my cum face probably <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Yo, Nigga, I ain't even gonna lie. My girl don't laugh at me a couple times. You catch me <laughs> off guard. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit, yeah, hey, that, that shit, is, shit is something else, man. It's a very it. vulnerable moment for I, us. I bury my face in their chest so they can't see my face. Nigga, fuck <laughs> that. You about to see me. Bro, I feel you on that. Busting off. All right, we're moving God on. Busting it. blood vessels. You busting more than a nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're moving on, man. Oh, man. What's, my, what's, <laughs> <laughs> what's a training day when the nigga got shot in the ass? And nigga, God oh, damn yeah. it, you shot me in the ass. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's cum face is wild. You two, Yo, y'all man. niggas is going to join that one. Yeah, <laughs> this man. This nigga's got a wild cum face. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. That shit feel too good to have a straight <laughs> right, face. Man. I just had a old boy of mine tell me, like, enjoy your orgasms, bro. Stop holding back. Let that noise out. Right. Like, <laughs> you got to, man. You got to, man. Fuck Don't that shit. it ain't too vulnerable, nigga. Oh, yeah, but if he you said. you out a, ooh, so you straight. This, just don't be he, screaming. This is what he told me. It was like sex is, is it is vulnerable. It's the most vulnerable thing we do as humans so be like don't hold back your vulnerabilities just I'll be all just let that shit go bro man it's gonna be some girl somewhere laughing at your ass uh-huh. i mean if your girl is laughing at you i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get, get it wrong Nigga, now women be coming funny too though she definitely cackled at me women be coming funny too they I, be second I definitely they be clinching up comes. and shit yeah. yeah i laughed at one what's the craziest comes, girl come you've heard i don't know but they <laughs> shaking <laughs> sh- yeah, that's one yeah that's nah, some, I like some strange, <laughs> there's some strange things out I like there the shakes when you get the shakes and you oh, hear the yeah, quiver yeah. in their voice you hear oh, yeah, that little quiver yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. Right. yeah that means you got that yeah you gonna have to get I like, one more. I like the hiders they're screaming the pillow oh yeah nah I don't mm-hmm. like them cause well, I'll snatch that pillow <laughs> well, just I'm, feel it <laughs> feel it stay there are the Be ones the that moment. kick you in your damn head when you give them head? Oh no, nah, they you they tripping. get that tight. You like, damn, nigga, shit. You like, trip. Ooh, I about oh yeah. Oh, okay. I about to say, yeah, they get you. tight on you. And your ass got down. You kick you out. Girls' legs are strong. As yeah, hell, it's fuck. They probably that's man, probably they, the they do got to push a baby on. out, man. They prepared. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy. That's true. Um, 
Also this week, man, Snoop Dogg bought Death Row uh, Records. Snoop D-O-double-G. I didn't know the he label had. Row Records. The label man. went bankrupt in 06, so I guess you bought it from I the thought Ray J, I thought Ray J owned it. It kept saying the brand, but when I read more to it, it, it was the label. Mm. He also, uh, for the first time ever, he's in some controversy with a sex, sexual assault allegations. Oh, Ray J? No, nah, Snoop Dogg. Oh, I nice. read through it. Um, I'm going to not touch it. It's a typical story. You know, a guy with power, young lady, feels like she has to have sex with him. I don't know. I feel like this will blow over. Damn, man. He be cheating. What's his wife named Coco? Bruh. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. That's uh, Ice T. White. Shantae? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bruh, yeah. you're out your mind if you don't think Snoop Dogg don't cheat on that lady. No, yeah. He's cheating on her a lot. He's cheating on she her just a lot. With, she just in the last few years, though, this is what happened in 2013, right? At a certain age, you got to stop cheating. Mm-hmm. I, I think. If you Snoop Dogg? Ask yourself that gotcha. question. Like, you done had so much sex. Like, what's the point of still cheating? What's better than sex, bro? Happiness. With, with new women. I was about to say, <laughs> it ain't women. too much out there that's with better than women. sex. A lot better than sex with new Name women. Name one. Huh? Name one. I would say stress, being stress-free. Better than sex with new women? It yeah. is better, but... But the- how like how new can it be? Like, what's she going to do that you ain't done before? Even. Well, the thing is, it's the excitement. It's the thrill of something new. Mm-hmm. That's what you. It's that feeling. Even if you done had sex seven hundred times with seven hundred different people. Yeah, it's the, it's really the seven hundred and one. You still like? I can't wait to have sex with the seven hundred and first. Nigga, person. Quincy Jones is eighty four years old with three girlfriends. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Now that yeah, okay. Damn. Damn. At eighty four, you still that thrill just never gets old for Fellas. some people. I'm not gonna say for everybody. I'm just gonna say for at a certain people. age, you gonna have to let it go, especially if you get them thrived your whole life. I think life. the regular nigga lets it go. Maybe, maybe. The regular the rich man, nigga ain't the letting rich, that shit the go. The rich man don't have to do anything. I'm rich. Like, I'm, I'll am i never be lonely. I always got money. I can get somebody here. Like, we live different lives. You got to think about it. Even the ugly rich motherfuckers going to have somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Russell Simmons. <laughs> that nigga still got girlfriends. What's my Maybe man He be having the baddest <laughs> vegan looking yoga body. And he like never 80. forget, never forget the niggas that uh, own the Clippers had that badass black chick. Oh yeah, what was his name? The racist dude. Oh, yeah. oh the <laughs> older man. Yeah, he did. She was bad as fuck, dating yeah. this old decrepit raisin face. But she was that type though. Like she was like did see, just only cared about how she looked, how she appeared. I've seen that in real life. What I've seen um, when I used to work for AT and T, I went to do an install for a guy on Lake Norman. Um, house wasn't nothing major. It was just, you know, a house on Lake Norman is a house on Lake Norman. I don't care if it's big, if it's small, it's worth m- money. And I go into the house, it's the black woman, she greets me at the door, a young black woman. And I'm like, all right, this is her crib. She like, um, baby, where's your box at? And I say, baby. And when she said, baby, comes around the corner, is this old 84-year-old man. He's a mm, man. Dang. And he was just like, you know, and she was she was like, I uh, I would be a, try to walk you around. Just ask him for everything you need. I'm a, I love you, baby. I'm on my way to. She was on her way. To oh, she gone. She uh-huh. spent that money. Uh-huh. Credit card. I go into his room. It's like pictures of them together. So, like, the girls that do that shit really play the role. Like, they together. Uh, I mean, you never have to work a day in your life. Sometimes it might be worth Hit by dick and ball. When you that old, you slinging ball, bitch. <laughs> God damn. Hey, shout out to him, man. Shout right. out to him. All right, real quick, man. Um, before our time runs out on these cameras, I do want to get into this last episode of Euphoria. Shout this out to my girl Zendaya. The only people that watch Euphoria on this show. You gotta start watching. No. I'm episode tired. five was one of the best episodes of any drama series I've probably seen on TV in a long time. Yeah, that shit was good as hell. That's all I can say. I'm sorry I can't be more descriptive, but it was good as hell. It's hard. It was real. <laughs> it was riveting. It was real. It was all the big words they used that to describe it. That nigga said riveting. Yes. Right. Wow. Zendaya is fire. Yep, for sure. She killed it. It's fire. I I don't know if anybody's dealt with drug abuse in their family. I have. Right. Um. I ain't never seen somebody play a crackhead that good. Maybe since Pookie. Yes. Maybe yeah, she Pookie. played it like that. She was doing a thing, she bro. An hour, well. st- hour straight of her being a crackhead, having a bad night. She asked somebody for a microwave. I haven't seen an addiction that bad since uh uh what was the DVD? Oh, you talking about bum crack? Fights. Uh, bum fights. Bum yeah, fights. bum fights. That's how she was, but she was like this kind of like she 
She started at her house. She got kicked out of her house. I guess I'm ruining it for let's, people. Let's, no, no. If you have not watched, she on this crack. Is, this is Monday. She's a drug addict. This is Monday after. But it's not crack. Hmm? It's crack. No, 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 no. no, no. She do pills. Oh, spoilers. Okay. Let's describe what's going on here. So the main character, you seen season one, right? Yeah. She does pills. At this point, her addiction has elevated because she's met this character, some dude from her school that has access to drugs, and so he's giving her coke. He's giving her fentanyl. She's taking Molly. She's taking Benzo. She's taking everything she could get her hands on. So she, with so much easy access to drugs without really having to pay for it because he's fronting her, her addiction has gotten deeper to the point where she they want drugs so bad, she wants drugs so bad that she goes and makes a deal with this drug dealer to get drugs to sell, but really she's going to use them. And before this episode, in the last episode, I think the last thing she was doing is she was sitting on the floor and she started licking the uh, the, the panels of foot fentanyl, getting high. So, And then in the next episode, it shows her going into that stash to get some pills out. Yeah, that was the last thing. So this episode starts where that book bag full of drugs is missing and she can't find the drugs. Mm. So she's freaking out for two re- reasons. She's going through withdrawal, but she also is in debt to this drug dealer. And these drugs have been flushed down the toilet by her mother. So she Mm. loses her shit and she cusses out her sister. She cusses out her mother. Her friends told on her. Her girlfriend told on her. Which that's a conversation for another day. And (laughs) she just really played the role. Like it was crazy how she was just cussing at him and attacking him. And then she like finally breaks down, cries to her mom. Like, hey, you can take me to the hospital. Her mom says, no, I'm taking you to rehab. When she finds out she's going to rehab, she jumps out the car and she just starts running. And she like breaking into houses, stealing money, trying to get what she can because her main goal in this episode is to try to get more drugs. But at the same time, she ought to come up with the money to pay that dealer back. Oh, yeah. She got to pay him back. And that's <laughs> where she winds up at the end of the episode, getting a fix and having a needle put in her arm for the first time ever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, she ain't coming back. Yeah, and the dealer already talking about pimping her out. That's the part yeah, a lot of she, people miss. She's like, yeah. she's like, well, lucky for you, women can make money other ways. You can always sell your body. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when they find her, she's in debt. And she's in debt. I, we talked about it the other week when Dare was saying that they, they glorify drugs. Ain't nothing glorified, glorified about, that. about that. And then it's that one thing where she talking to the drug dealer and the drug, drug dealer spitting out facts about addiction and all this stuff. It's like, if you listen to that, that's better than any ad that Dare could ever do. She telling every fact about being an addict and recovering from uh, being an addict. Well, I'm, most drug dealers, good ones anyway, don't do their product. Right. So, of course, they they know what it can do to you. You know what I'm saying? They know how to find you. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, this motherfucker clicking. So I know he needs something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they know. Yeah. They be knowing. And then like, she went to her, her Fez, or I guess this is real name, Fezco, and she's a real drug dealer, and tried to take mu- uh, drugs from his sick mom. Like, bro, she was fiending. She was fiending. That sounds like fiending. She was fiending. And. Honestly, man, I to piggyback off what you said, Dare could never. Nah, they're not creative enough. If we could have watched episodes of of um, Addicted, yeah, in school, but I nah, they want to give would've... you a cartoon character, yeah. uh, asking you, drugs. asking you, hey, Jimmy, do you want to smoke marijuana with me? Because <laughs> nine times out of ten, some of the drugs you're gonna get hooked on are introduced in great lights. Parties are great lights to start drug habits. It's a party. It's a good time. Want to keep it going? Put this up your nose. I don't know, Tommy. Yeah, just try it. It starts off there and it ends up in a roach motel. That's where the addiction drives. You start off in the high life and you end up on the roach motel. Yep. You see how some of these famous people fall off and they end up in the cruddiest of places. Yeah. That, what's what's uh, what happened to my boy Orlando Brown? Him. Uh, that picture. Oh, that nigga bad. That picture of when, oh, when he, he used his mirror. Oh, yeah. That's like, and she was one of the greatest R&B singers ever. So like, yeah, no, nah, it's Dang. not, it's not the move. It's not the move. Ain't nobody ever going to beat drugs. Drugs going to always beat you. The addiction going to always win. Mm. All right. Uh, this is a sad conversation. Right. It man. is, man, but we're going to move on. Go watch Euphoria. Y'all tripping. Watch Euphoria. If y'all have Zendaya, seen episode six last Emmy night. Emmy should be coming soon. Should be. Should be. And y'all on episode six, so I hope we didn't run it for y'all because right. y'all should be on episode six. This is episode five. I'm a DVR I'm the Super Bowl because I'm watching Euphoria. Okay. That was too far. <laughs> All right. Wow. All right. All right. Um, 
and also, man, as we close out the show, man, this week in the uh, in sports, man, NBA trade deadline was this last past week, and we seen some major moves made. James Harden moved to the Philadelphia 76ers in exchange for Ben Simmons, I think Paul Millsap, and Seth Curry. Uh, I think Chris Stapps was moved. Actually, Paul Millsap came from the Nets. He came from the Nets? Yeah, they did. They did Andre German, uh, what's my man's name? Seth Curry, and Ben Simmons went to mm-hmm. the Nets. Okay. Right. And two picks, two draft picks. Oh, yeah, two draft picks. Two draft picks. Uh, Shout out who, else came up a who, else who else moved around? Charlotte, oh, Charlotte. got uh, Montrez Harrell. Yeah, that was a good pickup for us. Um, Dennis Schroeder and a couple of names from the Celtics went to the Rockets. Yeah, so like Bruno Fernando and I forgot who the last dude is. They all went to the Rockets for uh, Daniel Tice, a nigga that used to play for them. Um, who else? Oh, yeah, uh, C.J. McCollum. Oh, yeah, I forgot McCollum. He got C- moved early. Yeah, C.J. McCollum went to the Pelicans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. He was the oh, first move. People, I said, damn. I, I wonder move. will that uh, speed up the timetable for Zion Williams. I don't know, man. That's a weird ass. I don't know what they're going to do with Zion. I, yeah. I, I got a feeling Damian, Damian Lillard is not too far out the door in Portland. You think so? Who they, they, get, who they get I got to because the rebuild, I don't see him wanting to be part of a rebuild. No yeah, he's getting old. He's like 28. He no, might be about twenty eight, like thirty something. Oh, you think he older like than 30? that? Yeah, he in his thirty. He came in a little he bit. Definitely later. don't want to be part of no rebuild. Nah, he, yeah, he's trying to he's trying to win now. Go to L A, man. Mm. I I would, I would wait till this bronze shit is over and go to L A. I'm gonna be real with you. I think it's some people that just don't want to play with LeBron. That's I, mean, I say I would wait to. The I wouldn't LeBron want to either because if play, things go wrong, it's your fault. Mm-hmm. It's never gonna be on Bron. Yeah. There's some people that genuinely don't want to play with him, and I think. Damian Lillard is one of them because Damian could have been with LeBron, honestly, but he don't want to leave Portland. He feel like he's the shit. That's why I'm saying he wait is. for the Bron shit to be over and then go to LA. How you know when the Bron shit gonna be over though? I don't know how much Chris Paul got left in him. Go to the go to the Suns. Nah, this is it. You think this is it for Chris Paul? Like yeah. I feel like if the Suns don't get it done for Chris Paul, like this bro, this is the second year they've been this good. If they don't get it done this year. Rap. That's who need to go to LA. And they honestly, Paul. honestly, yeah. man, I don't know if Chris Paul. I don't know if y'all watched the finals. Like, I, well, I from what I was watching in the finals, Chris Paul did not take over one fo- after game one or two. The first two games, three, four, five, six. What was he at? Chris Paul got a bunch of old moves, like moves yeah. that don't nobody do no more. That's the thing he about the playoffs, man. Them. It's like you can adjust. And yeah, that yeah, just make it change the whole series. It's like he stopped touching the ball. It's like he didn't even want the ball no more. Yeah, it's it, crazy, man. It, it like I mean, was Booker wasn't hooping play. either, though. Like, only That's, nigga I think that, like, after those first two games, Aiton was the only one I thought that was consistent. That nigga's good. One thing you him. you people got to realize about organized basketball is certain amount of people got a certain amount of touches. And I think they was trying to make uh, Booker the hero of that game. He got all the touches. If you think about the game in itself, Booker yeah. was getting a you lot of touches. You talking about the series? Yeah. The series, what I'm saying is you rarely seen Paul dominate, control, do any of the things he was doing in game one, game two. I'm not talking about his shooting. Right. Anything else. I'm just talking about even having the ball in his hands to create the offense. That like, could have been a coaching decision, though. Right. Why would you do that when you just want to straight? And I feel you. Yeah. I feel you on that. But at the end of the day, coaches do have some kind of say-so when it comes to. What you want? Devin Booker? Could have been. And also, points, maybe the, the Bucks chip. just made the proper True. adjustments, too. Maybe the Bucks found saw something. Mm-hmm. They are hella long. They, they are a big team. Mm-hmm. That's a big team. Well, at the time, I mean, now they got what Bobby Portis for their center, who's not a big center at all. No, he's not. They and uh, who else they got? They just signed somebody in the in the, um before the deadline. I can't remember who though. Mm. Oh somebody yeah, they did went. pick somebody. Up. Yeah, I can't remember who. Somebody went. But the Ibaka. It is Serge yeah, Ibaka. Yeah. Serge, yeah, they did pick Serge Ibaka. Serge. That's actually a good pickup. Hell yeah, you can't go wrong with Ibaka. I Ibaka's think he solid. should. He should start. He but might. I'm pretty sure we'll he's not. Do. We'll see what they do. You always do. think the old nigga should start. He should start. <laughs> that nigga love a classic man. <laughs> he should, but I'm pretty sure he's not. Shout out to my nigga Serge, bro. He's yeah, not going to start over uh, over Portis. This, this Portis got reminds me of how good that Oklahoma City team was that didn't win nothing. They everywhere. Yeah. They just Jeff everywhere Green, Ibaka, yeah. Durant, Hart, and Westbrook. 
<laughs> like the list goes on. Perkins yeah. say they should have won. That cephalosha. Perk say they should have won. What happened to the Bro, you probably caught the cephalosha. Oh, Top went to he's France. Stupid. <laughs> I think huh? he really did go to France. Oh, he probably play. did go back home. Yeah, I think he went back home to play. <laughs> um, y'all see the uh, All Star picks? Oh yeah. Lebron, yeah. Team Lebron, and Team Kevin Durant made their picks on TNT. Durant did not want to be there. It was interesting Durant after not all even the play. right after <laughs> all of this happened. Um, it was interesting to see. LeBron in great spirits, picking all his players, and Kevin Durant looked like he was ready to not be on TV. He was Durant I, was a typical DC nigga. Mm-hmm. I think he's extremely upset about that trade. <laughs> right. He could be butt hurt about everything, he'd man. Right. I would be too. Like I came here for you. I think he gonna be surprised. Well, he was there first. Who he, Kevin? Kevin was there first. It was James Kevin and Kyrie, and then James came. Yeah, but I'm like calling you on the phone. We will and deal. Got we could because yeah. I think uh, James but said it last he said year he before w- they got Jay, uh, Harden. He said, "Yo, they already got a good team. You just adding to it when you yeah. add Kyrie and KD. So t- trading for Harden could have took away f- talent that they could have kept. Yeah, but I think he was also upset. From what I heard, he was upset with how things were being held managed, like from the top office, like Harden. He didn't like how they was handling certain situations. His name shouldn't have been a trade talk. That was messy yeah. because the trade talk started long before the trade happened. Really, the first trade they was talking about was Kyrie for Ben. That shouldn't have been in the that And then been the talks. all this heart and shit came out of nowhere to me. To me, too. But it probably came out of nowhere for him, too, right. as a player. And y'all got to stop with the memes. I keep seeing y'all put Kobe and Shaq beside Hart and Embiid. One thing, Let them win a ring before you start doing some comparison. One but thing I'm going um, to say is certain players are better in certain systems like i uh like look at westbrook westbrook is on a team with lebron james you know what i'm saying where lebron james really needs more touches than anybody on the team for the team to operate successfully so it's just like you are taking away touches from this man who's used to scoring by himself and that's the same thing with james harden james harden a better player when he play by himself and I know that shit sound crazy because basketball is a team, you know, a team thing. Yeah. But, like, I'm talking about, like, far as superstars or people that are on his level. Yeah. When he was in Houston, even though he did have a plethora of players, he had a plethora of motherfuckers that were good. He still was more – he was better then than he is now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But with, that's that touches thing you yeah, was talking about. It, like it, It's just crazy. Everybody like, got to get touches. Kyrie is a example of a plug and play player because he could go anywhere and he gonna do the same thing that he been doing, dishing, dropping threes, and making yeah. motherfuckers look but like. But don't they Harden lead the league in assists or not? Nah? He do, and mm-hmm. see what make it so crazy when Kyrie was out, James Harden was running point. Yeah, and he actually was doing a hell of a job at it. But that's the whole thing though. Like he he needs to be in a system where he is the focal point. He control the ball. Yeah, and and that's how it's got to work. I mean, granted, Embiid is the focal point over there, but Embiid don't need the many touches. Yeah. Embiid don't need that, you know what I'm saying, like my, the ball all in his hand all the time. My final thought on it, um, honestly, I think he could plug hard in and he could play anywhere because it wasn't not working in Brooklyn. He he passed. Yeah. He, he not. I selfish. mean, they were number one until Kevin Durant got hurt. Yeah, he, so it wasn't yeah. it wasn't not working. Um, in Houston, he, he and Ben Simmons ain't game. bad. Like they still gonna have a stick. Yeah, they, well, they, they got, got they got they shooters the and think, they got Ben Simmons. I think Where they gonna put him at. But hold, hold hold on hold on center hold on. Um, See, but then when you put it when you put him in uh Philly, it's still not a bad deal because he he not gonna not feed Joel. Oh yeah, definitely. It's so, gonna yeah, be it's gonna be what him and Dwight Howard should have been. Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna <laughs> not feature us. So it's, it's gonna be. I mean, either way, it's gonna be interesting. I think Brooklyn won that trade though. What you said. I don't yeah. think um, Embiid is gonna be cool with just getting tossed alleys and shit because yeah. Embiid is actually a polished center. I don't, I don't think. I don't think, I don't gonna think go that's away. gonna be the game plan I though. Gonna I, gonna I, I mean, we'll oh, he's gonna toss him an alley a couple. Oh, it's gonna be some of that. Yeah, but, yeah, but that, that 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 like I said, I don't think that's gonna be the game plan. Yeah, he can't treat him like he did Clint Capella. I think they're gonna do the same thing they did, but now you got a Ben Simmons that gonna shoot. It's gonna be look just like that, but I'm gonna draw the double. I'm gonna draw. It's Kobe. No, I'm saying it's like Kobe it's shot. gonna be basically like Hart and it's gonna take whatever they used to run with Ben Simmons, oh, but yeah. he gonna be scoring yeah, instead yeah. of passing up opportunities. It's Kobe and Shaq. It's yeah. Kobe and Shaq. If Kobe and Shaq liked each other, yeah. I, this for you, now. You, now Embiid yeah. seems like a hard nigga to like. Yeah, he be trolling. <laughs> He's him. the uh, NBA leading leading scorer. Oh yeah, Embiid yeah. might be the MVP this year. He should have got it last year, but they gave it to Joker. 
All right, real quick, man. Ke- Ke- uh, team Kevin Durant, Team James, who you got? Uh, I'm going LeBron. LeBron be picking some teams in the All Star games. Well, you know he's he part GM anyway. So, yeah. You who know. you got, James? Team Kevin Durant, Le GM. Uh, LeBron James. I mean, I just want to see a good game, honestly. <laughs> you want them to actually play each yeah, other? I'd be hating when they be doing Eastern that. Eastern Conference Finals. That soft got. shit. The uh, Eastern Conference. I got finals? Miami versus Milwaukee, baby. Hornets. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Hornets versus who? Eastern Conference Finals. You got Hornets versus who? Milwaukee. Lakers, uh, West Coast. Who you got? West Coast. I say Warriors, Suns. Warriors, Suns. He says Warriors, Warriors. <laughs> he says Warriors. Warriors win everything. Yeah. I, I'm not now. Even hey. My dark horse is them Grizzlies. I was just finna say <laughs> that. I was just finna you say that. You gonna say another team? That's the dark horse. That's right the dark here. horse. <laughs> that, they it's coming the up. Boy. Cause they third in the West in right now. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, Memphis will make it at least to the second round. Top five, yeah, for sure. Yeah. At least top five right now. Yeah. I say Phoenix Warriors. Suns, Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Warriors, 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 Warriors. Uh, Warriors. Bucks and pro- Warriors. And probably my oh, last. I just one, wanted to hear you say it. My last one probably gonna be Miami. Miami, yeah, tough Miami team. is thick, boy. Yeah, they nobody wanna team. play them. I like Miami. They a tough team. Yeah, I like Miami. Miami. But the Warriors Shout out to the Orlando Magic. <laughs> I was waiting on it. They're going to win. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Nobody's as complete as them right now. They're going to win. Sure. I feel like they're going to win it, too. I feel like it's between them and the Suns. And definitely if they get uh, my man uh, Wiseman and uh, Green back right. before the playoffs. I keep forgetting about Wiseman. Oh, it's going to be a Boy, better get them knees fixed, man. And my right. thing is, how you young and you got terrible knees? <laughs> you the big man shit, man. All right, man. Real nigga of the week this week. All them AAU U games he's been played his whole life. Real yeah, nigga this week. His niggas down played more games than that. <laughs> real nigga of the week this go week. Ahead. Who the real nigga? Because James man. don't want to leave. Y'all oh, want to keep bad. talking about basketball? Ahead. You want to go home? Nah, go I'm ready. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I got to be up in the morning. <laughs> real nigga of the week this week. Cam Newton. Shout out to my nigga Cam, Cam Newton baby. sat down with Finally Brittany Renner. Finally got a real nigga. <laughs> Brent, Cam Newton sat down with Brittany Renner. And, um, Why? I don't y'all know. giving this. Content. Y'all giving this chick fame by this point. <laughs> and um, Brittany Renner was saying it's been trying to dry in her love life. And, and Cam, you know, he kept it real. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I keep because you're a thought, thought. Thotty, thotty. That's why your love life's been dry. <laughs> but can you blame them though? And let's let's, keep it, them let's keep it funky now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep it funky. Like blame them for I'm, what? I'm I'm Cam Newton, right? Okay. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm not about to hit no DM with no Britney talking about, hey yo, what's good, what's popping? Where you at? You in Atlanta, I see you in Atlanta, boom, why slide not? through. But why not? Because I don't want to end up in your book. Cause in a lot of ways, real real spill. I felt like you had to do what's best for you, and you did, and you mm-hmm. capitalized on it. But that was too, that was too <laughs> the discretion of somebody else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And whether you felt like that was what you needed to do to get on, I'm saying that from a, from a person in my seat, it's like, damn, she pretty, bad, gorgeous, well represented, but I got to walk lightly. Because she ain't just like no other Instagram model that's out there because she really knows she could talk the talk, right? And when she goes and talks to a Jackson State, when she goes and talks to podcast Hollywood Unlocked, Shade Room, yeah. she ain't just, oh, Cam was cool. Oh, yeah, I did it. She giving details. Man, listen, man, I popped in, so-and-so, so-and-so. Matter of fact, and man, look, y'all, he had the nerve to... <laughs> And, you know, in innocence, where I'm just like, bro, I just want to reach out to you just to have a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like my time is being respected and protected. Mm. So he broke that down real nice, man. Mm. Shout out to Cam. Harder trick. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Gotta Shout choose to the right one. Man. All right, man. Am I done medal for this week, man? I was giving it out to the people, man. Um, in this sensitive society that we live in, we do have to be respectful for others and... and you know, whatever respect for the people's persons, but it's a little bit out of control, man. Adele got a award. I think the award was for being uh, uh something about her. It was a award for being a woman, not being a woman. It was a music award for a woman, and she was just saying she was just big up in the fact that she was proud to be a woman and 
strong, powerful women and the uh the same thing. They they called her a turf for it. Mm. A trans a uh trans exclusionary. I don't know the term. Nah, you right. But uh that's a little <laughs> that's a stretch. Yeah, man. That's that's a little bit of a stretch, man. Uh, person of the week. All oh, right, man. Hell no. You see that shit? Shout oh, out to hell no. <laughs> Henry T. Sampson. Um, this is the man that created the technology that is possible for us to have cell phones. He created the gamma electric cell, which is uh, what powers our cell phones today. Uh, we got. Sorry, everybody. We looking at these uh, Trump pictures. No. You see that black face on niggas? Them niggas. You see the gray hairs in the nigga beard? Oh no, bro. They got they the Pharrell got hat on. Hairs, but you, you know, they got that face thing now. They black as fuck. I mean, damn, because it's a black girl right here. Nah, this person right here is the one that's throwing me off with the shades on. And the locks. Nah, we're we're totally off track. About, about, <laughs> about sleep back then. Go just ahead, man. Just, oh, nah, but Henry T. Sampson, y'all, if you didn't have, if you got a cell phone, his technology is what, is the basis of what created the cell phone. Cool, man. Hey, you know a nigga created the Super Soaker? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. And this and this is why I'm a fan of the N-word. Because when he says it, oh. it sounds like a term of endearment. It's like, you know, a nigga <laughs> created <laughs> Like a black... You, it's like our brother created the super... <laughs> now, imagine Joe Rogan coming on this show saying, Now, Molly, um, you know a nigga created this. Yeah, that's... It don't even hit the same. <laughs> Do you know a uh, black woman created the 3D movie? Uh, I think I heard that. that. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Real shit, bro. Yeah. We out here, bro. Don't nothing move without black people, bro. They That's need right. to give us a lot more credit. We got to give ourselves credit. credit first, man. Like Johnny said earlier in the show, it's the reason why them Jews get shit done. We got to get got their own hospital. We got to get we got to get to that level. When we get to that level, can you imagine niggas having their own we hospital? We can we can barely keep them man, warm. I'm dying. You need to wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I brought my grandma in room 117 uh, man. I'm, I'm on lunch break get... right now and the other girl she called out so you going to have to wait. But but nigga I'm bleeding my, out my, my, my 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 I got shot two times. Shoulder <laughs> shoulder wound baby. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's crazy. Ain't nobody tell you to be out there shooting. <laughs> better not bleed on my lunch. You, be out there your man said? you know she going to flirt with you a little bit too. What you out there shooting people for anyway? <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't here to get you ain't here to get tested. <laughs> She got your ass, didn't she? Um, yeah, that was it, man. Episode 195, man. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're watching us on YouTube right now, like and subscribe, please. Uh, Apple Podcasts, leave us a group, review, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Play. We're not on Stitcher. Um, thank Fuck you, thank Stitcher. you for joining us. Nah, I'm just joking. Subscribe, follow, tune in next week. We'll be right back with another episode next week. Other than that, man. Possibly. Here you go. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there. <laughs> Fellas, romance your lady, man. It don't have to be roses and candles. You can do some, like, real DIY shit. Get on Pinterest. Don't be in a room with your niggas listening to R&B. Running trains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be hey, with bro. your lady. Put that shit on Usher number three when I go in there, okay? Yeah, yeah, Yo, okay. could you imagine? That's like wrestling. Uh-huh. Each nigga got their r and <laughs> intro music. <laughs> intro music. Pussy up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, you ever had a trait? You asked Johnny, did you have you ever participated in I prefer not to answer. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> I don't know. Because we didn't never def- define what it was. So I don't know if I had one or not. Oh, man. I really love you niggas, man. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to Deepa holding us down behind the cameras today, man. Always. Other than that, man, it's your boy Jumpman Jones. I'm signing off for Jukebox, Johnny, and James the Jellyfish. Telling you guys to love the life that you live. Love the people in it. Find the positive in every situation and live in the moment because this life is not forever. I'm your boy Jumpman Jones. We're going to talk to y'all next week. Happy Valentine's Day. Two men and a woman is a, is a train. <laughs> Go ahead, That's MMF if you ever look it up on uh, <laughs> Pornhub, sir. Good morning. Male, male, female. But then they got FFM. Lost track of time.